Congressman, what was the, what was the point Let of the Let me just, uh, I'm going to make uh, a statement. I'll take a few questions. That's it. Uh, look, this is about getting to the truth. This is about getting the answers. Uh, Self-governance requires it. And for too long, we've been pretending like January 6th didn't happen. Uh, President Trump himself said, this is a day that we will remember. Remember this forever. And yet it feels like we're trying to forget. So I never expected to be in this position, uh, but because of duty, duty calling to do this and to get to the bottom, uh, I'm committed to doing it. We will go where the facts lead us. We're going to get answers that we need to get because the American people deserve the truth. Then they can decide from there what to think. But right now, when you have these conspiracies that continue to thrive, when you have lies and misinformation that continue to thrive, it is essential for us as members of Congress to get to the answer. So uh, it's an honor to do this. Again, it's not something I was looking forward to or expecting or uh, anything, but there are also moments where you have to do the right thing, and this is it. What do you think Kevin McCarthy, 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 McCarthy called you a Pelosi Republican. How do you respond to that? Look, I, I, it's, it's childish. We're doing big things right now. We're, we're getting to the answers of the worst attack on the Capitol uh, since the War of 1812. Uh, you can call me whatever names you want. And uh, I just believe that, look, you know, bottom line, uh, I'm an elected member of Congress. I'm a Republican. Uh, Kevin McCarthy is technically my Republican leader. And to call, you know, members of Congress by childish names like Donald Trump used to do, I guess, is just uh, kind of part of What do you think a Republican is better? Do you worry about being punished? Look, no, I mean, look, the, what's the punishment that can happen? I mean, I obviously, the there's been the threat about being expelled from, you know, committees. Look, the bottom line, uh, I'm going to com come here, do the best work I can. Uh, if the conference decides or if Kevin decides they want to punish, you know, Liz Cheney and I for getting to the bottom and telling the truth, uh, I think that probably says more about them than it does for us. And what do you get Republicans who are already throwing cold water on this? on the on the committee mm -hmm. well look i mean look we're gonna have a work product at the end of this wherever this leads wherever the facts leads we're gonna have truth we're gonna have facts we're gonna have information to back it up uh i think the biggest and most important point though we had an opportunity for a 5-5 commission that didn't even include members of congress then at every junction it kept getting blocked despite that we negotiated the 5-5 and so it's become obvious that there are some that just simply don't want answers, and that to me is unacceptable. You personally, you, want, you personally want to hear from Republican members of Congress who helped organize what happened on January 6th in terms of, you know, organizing with the president, the White House at the time. Would you want to hear from people like I, Jim Jordan? I want to know where the facts lead, and uh, if that includes, you know, members that had a role in organizing or that knew or that tried to cover up, that's important. And I think. Uh, I, I don't want this to be, you know, an attempt to just call them in to embarrass anybody or whatever, but we are in a process to get to information wherever that leads. Uh, we'll answer. I'll take one more. Can I just answer your own Republican where? staff for the committee, along with Congresswoman Cheney? Uh, that's all still being negotiated. Look, we, we hope to get uh, somebody like Denver Rig Riggleman out here to help. He knows uh, this stuff very well. Uh, we do believe we'll be well staffed. There's probably still some details. I'm just brand new on this. So there's a lot I haven't even been privy to yet. Uh, that I'll catch up on. Congressman, can I just ask you, what is it like? What was it like today? What was it like today? So don't follow me there, please.